Hey y'all, I am so excited for the holidays. I wanted to show y'all a few things that I bought for the Black Friday. So <laughs> I wanted to, like, I had taken off for Black Friday because I very rarely get to, um, to shop because I'm always at work. So I took off in April and I was so super excited, but I don't know. Y'all let me know if you have experienced this when you went Black Friday, if you did go Black Friday shopping. I was so excited and I thought that it was going to be like old times where you get up at like the butt crack of dawn at like two o'clock in the morning and you stand outside waiting for all the stores to open and then there's just like fun organized chaos <laughs> And that's not what it was. Like, I looked at the stores. No one was open. Like, everyone opened at their normal time. And then when I went to the stores, I mean, it was kind of like a ghost town for what I would be expecting for Black Friday. Like, it was just a regular day. I was very disappointed. Um, and by no means, and I can say this because I've worked retail, I don't want the um, employees, the store employees, to not be able to spend time with their family. Trust me, I worked retail before and they started way, way early, like Thanksgiving night. I don't want that. I just want it like old times. I don't know. I'm 38. So if you're around my, my age, you kind of know what I'm saying, like how it was like way back when. That is not how it is. Like everyone is shopping online. And I don't know. I just miss that organized chaos of the holidays for Black Friday shopping. But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, um, so Yes, I could not find any stores that were open like super early. So I was a little disappointed about that. But um, I was working on a very small budget because I am hopefully trying to plan a little getaway for myself to go to Miami. And there we just got like other stuff going on in the house. I'm trying to get our house together, trying to buy new furniture. So I was working with a smaller budget now. Um... So with that being said, I really didn't venture off too much. Like I really didn't go to the stores. I wanted to go shopping in Avalon and I really didn't get to do that because Avalon did not open um, stores until like 10, which is when they normally open. And I wasn't, I don't know. I just didn't want to drive like an hour just for that when they weren't really open. So anyway... Um, I just went to Old Faithful. <laughs> I went to um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Um, I honestly think that's it. I stopped out. I stopped in Ross. Y'all saw that in my um, last vlog. Ross didn't really have anything. And then, like I've said before, the Ross that's the closest to my house, their lines are so long. I just didn't feel like standing in that. Um, and then I went somewhere else that had a super long line, Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby because, um, I think I showed y'all too. I was trying to find this little, um, gingerbread house. I still have not found it. So when I find it, I will let y'all know. Um, but I was trying to find this gingerbread house and they had a few, but it wasn't like the pink, uh, little gingerbread house that I wanted. And I picked out a couple of things because I needed some new ornaments for the tree. And y'all, that line was like halfway back to the store. And I just didn't feel like dealing with it. Um, so I just, I just left it. So anyway, enough of that. <laughs> we are going to, I have a couple of bags here that I'm going to show y'all what I did buy. Honestly, I didn't find that much like pink Christmas. I don't know if I'm starting late because I know I did start a little bit later than a lot of y'all did, but I found a couple of things. I still need to go get things for my coffee bar. So I'll probably take y'all on a vlog um, as I, I'm probably going to go to Target, like I said in my last video, try to go to Target and go get a couple of things because Christmas is here. We are officially in 
countdown mode. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you a few super pink girly things. I have not been shopping. Y'all know I haven't done it. Sorry. <laughs> the traffic or whatever. It was a car. Um, I haven't done a haul for y'all in quite some time. I've just been busy and stuff's been going on. But yeah, I'm super excited. Most everything is pink. So I just wanted a pick me up. <laughs> so that is what this is today. <laughs> All right, so I've got me a little eggnog that's spiked with a little Jack Daniels. If you are 21 and older, cheers. Um, Again, like normal, no particular order. I'm just going to be grabbing things. And you see my tree is up. I just set it up, but it's not decorated. I'll take y'all um, with me probably when I decorate my room. I don't think I have that much. It's more of my tree. Um, if I can't find any more decorations, we might just be decorating the tree, <laughs> not my whole beauty ring, but we'll see. Um, so the first thing, this is from Home Goods. Oh, I did find this. So this is a uh, pink sprinkles they're red white green and pink so if you can see that a little bit i thought this was perfect for my coffee bar and this was only like 4.99 so i'm going to use this for my coffee bar but i'm also going to use this um i've got to do a couple of um christmas cocktails and a little baking so that is perfect i've never seen like the Christmas colors with pink. I thought that was absolutely perfect. So I got that. And then what is this? Oh. So actually, I'm going to put this in Mitchell's bathroom because he's out with his friends. Um, so I'm going to surprise him and put this in his bathroom. Okay. So most of y'all don't know because I just haven't shared it. Um, I hate cats. But Mitchell has a cat. He grew up with one. And we've had Mason God for a freaking year, so I've kind of gotten used to him. Um, but I found this little cat soap dispenser, <laughs> and I had to get it for Mitchell because I love my baby, but he's just a little bit of a Scrooge and a Grinch. I'm trying to get him out of that, but I felt like if I found some cute holiday things. Uh, that he would like it might get him a little more in the Christmas spirit so yeah so this is his little um soap dispenser I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna put this in his bathroom to surprise him just in case he comes home before I'm filming okay so yes that'll be a nice little surprise for him when he um when he comes home <laughs> So yeah, he's, he grew up with a cat and he told me, I think we've had Mason for a really long time. I feel like, I feel like we've had Mason for like, maybe like eight years, maybe like seven or eight years. I feel like, so like I said, cats are not my deal at all. I am a dog person, but I don't know. Mitchell, Mitchell loves him. That is literally his little buddy. That's his child. So yeah, hopefully he'll like that. <laughs> but yeah, he's not, I will say he's not as bad as a lot of cats. Like I'm seeing these videos where cats are like jumping up on people's Christmas trees and like knocking them over and people are like having to hang their trees from the ceiling. He, he knows we don't play that in this house. Like, don't mess with my stuff. Don't scratch my furniture. He scratched the couch before. And I already told Mitchell he's got to get that under control. Like, don't go in my kitchen. Don't go in my dining room. Nowhere where there's food. And he's pretty good about that. I think because we've kind of trained him early not to go in the kitchen or the dining room. So, and he don't jump up on countertops or nothing like that. So, hopefully we won't have any issues with him. But, anyway yeah that that's Mitchell's little surprise <laughs> okay so the next item this is from TJ Maxx um I ended up doing a lot of my things from TJ Maxx actually um but I'm 
I'm probably going to go back out and try to look for some Christmas stuff because like I said, most of this is not Christmas at all. It's just like pink stuff, which I'm totally fine with, but I wanted to try to find some Christmas decorations. Um, oh, I was so happy to found this. So this is a foot massager. I wear heels a lot and I stand on my feet a lot at work and I try to wear my heels probably like three to four hours at work. Um, but anyway, whenever, whether it be at work or somewhere else, whenever I take my heels off, like I'm sure a lot of y'all, your feet are in a lot of pain. Even when I wear flats because I stand all day at work, um, I have been wanting something like for my feet. So this is just a little foot massager um, and you just roll it. They say it's supposed to help with the arch of your feet too. So I was happy to found this and it, y'all, it was only $4. So I was happy to have found that. Um, while you're shopping for Christmas gifts, if any of your friends or your mamas or whatever wear heels a lot, this is really something good they can just take their feet off you know take their shoes off and just roll it on their feet and it's supposed to feel really good so i got that um i needed some new makeup brushes so i just got this little inexpensive kit because i really really needed makeup brushes like desperately i really want to get some bling brushes now that I'm saying that, I need to put that on my Christmas list for Santa. Um, but I really, really want some bling brushes. But I just needed some. Mine were like super old. So I just need to pick up some real fast. These were like $7. So I got those. Oh, and I found these gorgeous, super fun PJs. And I actually need to try these on to see if they fit. Because I think I got a large or an extra large. I got an extra large in these. Just because my PJs, I kind of like them a little bit looser on me. Just so they're a little more comfy. But look how gorgeous. They're like a satin. And they've got these. They're either jaguars or leopard. I can't ever tell the difference. This is the bottom of it. They're pants. And they've just got this elastic here. And a drawstring, I always love it when a drawstring is not fixed. And it also has the matching uh, short sleeve top. I feel like the top may be a little too big, but maybe not. I don't know. The girls are kind of big, so I don't know. And this was only like $20. So, yeah. I got that little set. And that is all for that bag. This one is TJ Maxx again. And, okay, this looks like glass. Oh, I have been wanting some Coupe champagne glasses for the longest. And look how freaking adorable is this? So it's got the gold on the rim and it's just little pink iridescent and I got two of these and they were like $5.99 um yeah they were like $5.99 so I got these because I want to go and kind of update my little champagne area in my room my champagne bar is super super tiny <laughs> but um I just wanted to kind of go and get some adult looking glasses so there is one i'm gonna put actually i'm gonna put this right here so it doesn't get broken and this is the other one and because like i said my champagne bar is really tiny i didn't want to get a set of four because realistically i only have like me and another person in here at at a time um and it's mainly just my husband <laughs> But when I do, like, have company over, um, I do want other ones. So I want to get, like, two sets or, like, a set of each type of glass. So this is my first set. It's so, so cute. And I keep seeing on Instagram where people have the little moles. 
and they can freeze the molds and put it in here and then pour champagne over it. So I'm super excited to do that now because I've never had coops before. They are so pretty. Let's see what this is. Oh, this super cute little mug. This says Santa's favorite. I saw that and had to get it. <laughs> it just has this little Santa hat on it and little rhinestones. And it just says Santa's favorite. And it's just a little mug. And it's got white snowflakes on it. And this one. Oh. You know, I have to get my seasonal mugs. <laughs> so this one just says keep it cozy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How stinking cute. I love that. And normally I would want like pink everything, but I actually love the contrast of the lilac and the pink. And it's got lilac in the inside. So adorable. I love that. So cute. Lord have mercy if y'all could see my floor right now. Ugh. Okay. Oh. So this I bought, this is one of Mitchell's Christmas gifts. So, if you're watching this and you know what's in real life, don't tell Mitchell, okay? <laughs> okay, so Mitchell is, like, obsessed with, like, space stuff and, like, time travel and all that. So, I found this little lamp. Um, I guess he'll just, like, put it in his man cave. There we go. And I thought that was so stinking cute. It is a... It is a little lamp, and it's got a USB cord, so it'll be good so he can keep by his computer, but how cute. Hopefully, he'll like this, but I thought that it was really nice. So, they have, this is a larger one, and then they've got, like, little um, space figurines. So, if you have someone in your life that loves, like, space stuff and all that, um, Home Goods. Did I get this from Home Goods? Yes. Home Goods has a couple of different things right now. So they should still have them because they had a good amount of them. So I got that for him. So I'm going to put him to the side so I can wrap him and put him up under the Christmas tree. Okay. And oh, okay. So this is actually a Christmas item. <laughs> I saw this so i love the brand um cupcakes and cashmere from um i think they have it home goods tj maxx all of them i think they just have the most adorable super girly items and so i saw this it's really simple but it's so stinking adorable so i found this it is so cute this material is so soft. It's so, so soft, but it's just got this little bow. And I'm probably going to put this on my um, coffee bar, probably when I get it situated. But it's just something super cute. And you can add ornaments. Um, Hobby Lobby has a little section where they have uh, little miniature ornaments. So you can absolutely add ornaments to this if you wanted to personalize it a little bit more. I may or may not. I'm not really sure, but I thought that was adorable. So I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to put that on my coffee bar. Okay, this is from Home Goods as well. I probably didn't get this from Home Goods. No, I got this from TJ Maxx. It's just in a Home Goods bag. <laughs> okay, so I need to get on the trend. I want to try it. So I think that I've actually bought this before, but I've never used it and I have no idea where it's at. So I found a hot pink one. Um, if you don't know what this is, which I'm pretty sure most everyone does, <laughs> this is where you can just like clamp this, the rod, onto your hair and you twist the hair. Now, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to twist the hair. Like I keep trying to watch tutorials and I don't know which way. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me to kind of figure that out. They have it on the back here. 
but I don't really understand like what hair that you I don't know I have to kind of play around with it but anyway um yeah it's just a satin um satin little scrunchies too that you can tie your hair back with um and then put it on I think that I want to try to do two of these one kind of forward and one like midway in the back of my hair I don't know I'm gonna try it and see if y'all follow um Southwest Sunshine she is on TikTok and Instagram she has like the best hair she has really big she's a southern girl and she does these all the time so um follow her I'm gonna put her link down here and then I'll put it in the description below so yeah I'm kind of excited to try this because I've never actually tried it before so I got this and then yeah it was only $7.99 so I decided to kind of pick that up and let's see this is another tj maxx bag and there's all kind of goodies in here okay saw this i have never tried chi um hairspray before but y'all know i'm a sucker for pretty packaging and this was adorable <laughs> so i had to pick this up um I don't know it would, if this was for a particular launch or um, a, our advertisement. I'm not really sure. But it was only like $12.99 for this can. So this is the Dual Mist Hairspray. Um, so And it says it's vegan, paraben-free, and gluten-free if that matters to y'all. Um, if you want to try it. So I've actually been using this um, because I'm at a hairspray. And I think I told y'all I really love Kerastase, but I just didn't feel like spending $50 on hairspray this time. Um, so I just wanted to try this strictly because of the packaging. So, so far it hasn't, like I put a little bit on my hair before I got on camera to film with y'all. And it doesn't make my hair feel like super, super crunchy, even though most times I want my hair to feel stiff and like not move. Um, so this, I'm honestly not really sure of the hold level because it says um, it goes to five, but, oh, let me see if that's gonna, okay. So you see where it says like one, two, three. So it's highlighted with one, but it's also highlighted with five. So I'm not really sure the hold level of this, but, um, I don't I don't really know what the whole level is it doesn't really say but all I know is one this smells amazing like it does not smell like hairspray which is good because I don't really like that hairspray smell um but it smells so so good it doesn't smell as good as Kerastase because in my opinion Kerastase smells like perfume but this gets pretty close like this smells really really good so yeah, I'm pretty sure um, they have it at TJ Maxx Home Goods. Um, if you want to pick some up to try, it, you can. I believe that I saw like a couple of travel sizes as well, but I just need hairspray. So this is what I picked up. <laughs> we got that. And then, so y'all know that I love my little makeup headbands. I wear them all the time. So I found this and I was so excited. <laughs> look at this so this is the beauty headband um and you can use this i mean y'all know what this is you can just put it on your hair it keeps your hair out of your face while you're trying to do skincare or makeup but it's got a little crown on it <laughs> and i thought that was so cute and in the inside it's got glitter so yeah i think that it just goes right here but i'm not really sure um, let me try to take it out and see how this looks. But I thought this, I thought this was so adorable because I've never seen this before. Ah. So, there we go. Okay, so yeah. 
I guess it just sits, I guess it just sits on top of your head like that. How stinking cute. That is so adorable. Can't wait to wear this. Now, how you actually wash this? I don't know how you would wash this. Um, I do see, huh? I'm not really sure how you would wash this because everything has like an adhesive here. So I don't know, maybe this is one that I'll just kind of hand wash, but I love it. It's so cute. Okay, that, and then, oh, this adorable headband. Look at this. Y'all know I love my bling. And this was just the cutest thing ever. And I know this is probably like for a teen or preteen or probably a kid, but yeah, this is this is what I'm about right here. <laughs> it's hot pink and it's a full of bling. So I thought that was cute, and it was only like $9.99. So I picked that up. That's actually perfect for like the holidays as well. So I got that. Um, these, remember I told you about um, Southwest Sunshine? She showed her you trying these out. And I've been wanting to try them out. So basically, you just kind of part your hair and lift your hair up. You could probably put like hairspray there and then just let it dry so your hair actually sits up a little bit more and then put your rollers in. Y'all know I'm from the South. I'm all about big hair. So... <laughs> The bigger the hair, the closer to God. So, yeah, I want to try these out. There's six clips in here. And again, y'all, these were only $4. So, I definitely picked them up. So, we'll kind of play around with those. Um, I'll probably do like a TikTok or something with these. So, y'all can see after I kind of play around with them. So, excited to try those. Oh, yes. Super excited about these. I know I have like 80,000 mugs, but these are very, very aesthetically pleasing. And so this will go up on my, these will maybe go on my champagne bar, like all the way up at the top. I'm not really sure, but how cute. And for this set was literally $7.99. I thought they were so adorable. Um, I made one video last year of me doing, um, making coffee in a clear mug. It was like a, um, Anastasia and that one got a lot of views, but it was just super cute to like actually see it in a clear mug. So I picked those up to go with my coffee bar and they looked really, really nice with the coops. So I thought those were nice. So I got that set. Um, oh. Okay, so I was in Home Goods. That's where I got this from. And I saw this game and I took a picture of it and sent it to Mitchell because I thought that it was funny. Um, and it's called the Couples Quiz. This is what it looks like. And this is good for married couples, engaged if you're a couple. Um, it's a fun game without it getting too serious <laughs> if that makes any sense <laughs> um but it's a good game like we've only played it once and it's just like hey what do you think um so like it could ask a question i think one of the questions that we had is what is your partner's fav best accomplishment and so you will have to answer what you think their biggest accomplishment is and then you would have to say what they think the biggest accomplishment is and then you would just tell your points to see who wins and it's got um three levels um to it so we're only on the first level but it's actually a pretty good game like i said it's a good couples game without it getting too serious because i bought us another one um that looks like this and it's good, but it can get a little deep. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, we kind of wanted to, to do this first. And this is good. Like, I have been super busy with Avalon. Um, 
if you're not, if you don't know, Avalon is a live, work, play uh, community in Alpharetta, Georgia, and I am one of their social media ambassadors. And so it has been a whirlwind in the best way, but it does take me away from home a lot. And so sometimes I don't see Mitchell as much as I want to um, or should. And so this is just a fun way to reconnect. We had shots and <laughs> we just had a good time. So this is something if you are a couple, um, a married couple, you just want to kind of reconnect or just do something for fun. This is actually a really good game and it was literally $7.99. So I got this from um, Home Goods. And then the last bag we have. Okay, so I opened these already because I needed uh, to go coffee cups. So I get these every year. These are my little pink snowflake disposable coffee cups. And this is the little, it just says joy. And they match my nails. So I got these. I need to hold on to these to put them on my coffee bar when I get that situated. But I get those because I basically live in my car. Like I work an hour from where I live. Um, and I'm typically leaving the house like no later than like 520 in the morning. Um, and so I can have my coffee, tea or whatever I want in there. Um, but this is new this year, or maybe I'm just now seeing it. I was so thrilled. It definitely seems like a lot of the stores are getting a little more inclusive with having like black Santas with different, um, different holiday things. And I was so excited to find these. So this is a, a pink disposable coffee cup, but they've got black Santas on them. Look at that. How freaking adorable. And the Santas have like different color, like bright, di brightly different colored outfits. And it's only like $4.99. Um, I didn't see the, I didn't see what the um, holder looked like. But, oh, yes I did. It's right here. It just says ho, ho, ho. I was so excited to see these. <laughs> so yeah, that was really kind of cool. So I got those and I got oh, these little, I needed some more stationery, um, but I also needed some napkins and these are the cutest Christmas napkins I think I've ever found. So it seems like a lot of the stores are like stepping their game up when it comes to pink, um, holiday decor. I'm so sorry about that lighting. This is a little bit of a better light, but look. Oh, how cute is that? It's so adorable. And these were like $3.99. And then I found this super cute little set. It is so Southern. <laughs> um, I wish there was a way I may go get a stamp with my monogram on it so I can put this on there but this is just like a bigger um post-it card and then just like post-it notes and I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna go ahead and have my monogram make it into a stamp so I can put that one here but it's so cute the final item y'all I freaked when I saw this <laughs> And some of you may have it, but I haven't seen anybody on socials with it yet. How adorable. So it's light pink. The blanket is light pink. And then all of the embellishments or all of the decor is hot pink. So this is so on brand for me. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Um, and they have other... They have other designs. I think they have a light pink one with black. Uh, and then they have like a light pink with like black and white or something like that. But I found this one and I, I absolutely had to have this. This is like the perfect shade of pink. And yeah, it's an oversized throw. So this was $16.99. So it's absolutely not Christmas at all. But oh, 
how stinking cute is this i love this so much i think this has to be like my favorite purchase of like this whole shopping trip so yes i'm so so excited to curl up with this and sit by the fireplace in some super cute pink pjs oh one other thing i did end up going the day after um the day after black friday i went to fabrique inside avalon and i picked up two things because they had extended their black friday sale so i literally picked up like two things so the first thing that i picked out were these super fun earrings i love going to fabrique for their statement earrings so I just thought these were so cute. I can put wear them with a lot of different things. So they just have this little kind of opal blush pink um, heart with this little pearl. I thought that was so adorable. And then I paired it with this gorgeous headband. That I have been eyeing this for absolutely quite some time. It's so, so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just covered in pearls. There we go. I'm trying to make that light better. But it's so pretty. I love that. Oh. And for me, I really, really like the, um, the thicker headbands as opposed to the thinner ones. Just because I'm super extra. <laughs> and it just makes more of a statement to me. So, yeah. Well, I, that is it, y'all. Thank you so very much for watching this. <music>